almost one acre of tropical rainforest is destroyed every second. Some 100 species, most of which we've never even seen, are driven to extinction every day, lost to the planet forever. In destroying them, we are tampering with the fabric of life, cutting the very strands that bind us all together. Only from space can you see how much is burning. The smoke spreads thousands of miles across to the Andes Mountains. Soon we will see roads here, then farms. Towns will expand to cities. Eight million people live here in Los Angeles. Six million vehicles and thousands of factories release chemicals into the atmosphere. Smog permeates the air we breathe. Not only are we polluting our air, we may also be altering our climate. Around the globe, cars and factories belch huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the air, faster than our oceans and depleted forests can absorb it. Our numbers are increasing by nearly 100 million every year. We consume enough energy to be visible all the way from space. There are now more than five billion of us spread across the Earth. In this satellite view, you can see the continents outlined by the lights of the great coastal cities. In North America, in Europe and in Asia. But our planet does have limits. The carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases we produce act like a blanket, trapping the sun's heat inside our atmosphere. Beneath it, the Earth's temperature may be rising. Without intending it, we are now conducting an uncontrolled experiment on the Earth's life support system, and we cannot predict the consequences. But already there are clues. High in the stratosphere, a thin layer of ozone shields us from the sun's deadly ultraviolet rays. You can't see the ozone, but our satellites and other instruments have detected a hole bigger than Europe in the ozone over Antarctica. We have created the hole with chemicals we use in our everyday lives. Faced with this evidence, the nations of the world recently agreed to restrict and eventually ban production of those chemicals. Looking out past the shuttle's tail, astronaut Jim Buckley. It's home to Israelis and Arabs. It's home to the Vietnamese.
It's home to the Aboriginal people and the farmers of the Australian outback. It's home to the people of Japan. It's home to the peoples of the Caribbean. It's home to all of us. And it's our only home.